Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy XIV. <clears throat> um, so yeah, we finished. We finished one of the role quests uh, for healer, and now I can actually. I can't fly. I can actually. Uh, I can actually. Uh, Get on with the next quest. Um, my only concern is that I have to finish the other two rule quests to finish Shadowbringers. That may or may not be the case, but here's hoping I don't. Here's hoping I don't. All right, here we go. I've let the undo down, I but. More than that I've let myself down. Might as well go back to mending kettles. Oh, that's right. We have the broken crystal from... What's what's her name? Lamet? What's that you got there? Such striking beauty. It shines with heartache and laughter and the transience of life like the turmoil of history made manifest. Yeah! Ah, I can see the brilliance of the crystal's legacy. Ah. You'd never capture. Uh, you'd never capture such a gleam, not if you labored a hundred years. A beggar, bugger me if I don't even mean to try. Where are me tools? God damn ye! I must set to work before the feeling fades. Oh my God! Thank you. I can feel it. A vision forming in me mind. Step aside, lad, and let me itching, and let me. Itching hands get to work. And done. That was pretty quick. I've taken the wonders of that crystal showed me and channeled them into a new shape what befits the Ando's spiritual character. Holy crap. What? Not a bad job if I do say so myself. And to think I was this close to hanging up me hammer and studying Oakcraft of the Ancients. Yeah, what he said. I've been across the length and breadth of Norvrant and gobbled up every scrap of Craft and wisdom what I could find, but no matter which technique I tried, me work was just no comparison. I couldn't even figure out how they put them damn buildings together. Mystery for the ages, that's what me, what drew me here in the first place. I built me workshop, got the forges burning, then me, lost me bleeding will to craft. Thank the gods for that crystal of yours, or I have never might have gotten it back. I won't pry into your business, but I reckon your little miracle there has been through the kind of journey they sing songs about. The echoes of the memory it holds just speak directly to your heart. I can still feel them coursing through me. The inspiration's not fading away, it's welling up stronger and stronger. Give me the chance and I reckon I can weave the crystal saga into other things as well. But bugger me, I almost forgot the Ando's commission. If you could drag that lamp over to tall Tosh off. Ooh. I'll stay here and dream up new arm armaments for you to try. What I feel like I need to do these other roll quests. Oh no. Uh, you now have access to Grendel's Forge. Equipment rewards will be uh, become available for collection based on the roll quests you have completed. Oh. Well then. This thing over here? No. M? Oh! Holy crap! Level 80 gear. Wait, can I just take this? Holy crap! Yo! Seriously? I could just. Because I'm level 80? This is. This gotta tie into every other class, right? It's just I have to do the roll quest. Oh, I see. And I guess only white mage is unlocked because I only have white mage unlocked. That's pretty neat. 
But at the same time, I don't have room for this. Let's just trade in one of these. What do I not need? Did he not give me a waste? Uh, he didn't give me a waste. Wait, I thought the... What? I guess he didn't give me a waste. Bummer. Alright, well, that's a huge boost in item level. Pretty sure. Yeah, it probably was 409, now I'm 415. That makes sense. I'm like, yeah, this is like way low. Really try to improve these accessory slots. And the waist. Oh, that's the belt. Okay. Yeah. Alright, cool. Thank you so much. I will be back here later. That's awesome! Oh, I thought Talsha Soth was a place. It's, it's his name. What is it that you have there? A giant fucking lamp. The sacred lamp! Then the finless one has kept his promise. My people tell me of the many deeds you have performed in the name of aiding the cups. And now you have come to me bearing the light we had almost surrendered hope of ever seeing. We can doubt your purity no longer. Your arrival was the will of the ancients. Yes, the time for our fear has passed. We shall take the lamp and unveil its austere illumination upon the walls of the forgotten. Gather there with your companions and we shall speak again once our prayers are have been offered. I need a haircut. My hair has been too long for like too many months. Like getting in the way of my eyes, which is not good. O oh, stewards of the Ondo, we offer up our light in answer. That tiny ass crystal made all that. That crystal you showed the artisan. Oh. Was it? Did it belong to one of my friends? Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I thought you were always watching. I tried to give you a measure of privacy. <laughs> no one wants a spirit looking over their shoulder every moment of the day. So tell me, if you would, how did you come across that crystal? Oh, it's a one hour story. It's from Lamet, and she loves you dearly. It was Lamit then. Strange that I should learn such things now, after they're long gone. They were fine friends, every one of them. I've been saying her name wrong. Lamit death to teach me so much. About them, about Seto, about you, about the hope that hides at the heart of this world. I've never been one for idle chit chat, but if by some miracle I could see them all again, I doubt I'd ever stop talking. I'm grateful I got to bend your ear at least. And just for that, I reckon I'll stick with you to the very end. Thanks, Hardbert. Apologies, we were a little late to the gathering. It seems we succeeded in gaining their trust. Mm-hmm. 
The delay wasn't exactly welcome, but at least our many hands made light work. And they seemed especially impressed with your contribution. Our hero indeed. Ah, shucks. Yustola was telling us those structures may date back to the age of the Asians. Yup. An Asian homeland. Here, yeah. In the first. Despite his many protestations, I never quite believed Emmett Selk was telling the truth. Nor I. But there is no denying the evidence before our eyes. Clearly, this was once a great city. A home they would see restored, no matter how many tens of thousands of years it takes. It's a hollow dream when you think about it. Even if they manage to rejoin all the worlds, they'll never bring back the ones who were lost. But would I have done any different? Are you... How are you feeling? Eh. That's not good. You have completed your devotions? Yes. To the honored ancients have we offered up our prayers and our gratitude. You too have our thanks. Might we trouble thee then to tell us more of the illuminated land of which thou didst lately speak? To the west of here lies a great trench. Some days ago, a light appeared in that endless darkness. Curious, we ventured closer and discovered in the depths an entire city. The buildings we spied were akin to our own everlasting abodes. Impossibly so. We understood at once the ancients had risen. There could be no doubt. Taken with terror, we retreated to the cups, and I decreed that none should enter the trench until such time as we received a sign. Might it still be possible to reach this city of the ancients? Hmm. With no water to drown you, a finless one could now travel there. Yes. I am convinced you are the sign for which we have been waiting. My people will show you the way. Shall we? Okay. So I've actually been there, and there was a barrier in the way, so I couldn't get any... I couldn't get any further. So maybe now, with their permission... The Jacobton has bid me guide your steps to the illuminated land. Um, the way lies downwards. Follow the path of coral and rock and join your comrades below. And that's where I found the Aetheric Current. So you take this road all the way down, all the way around. And then you'll find yourself across the terrain to the, uh, to the west, southwestern portion of the map. Please stop attacking me. Please. Okay. 
All are gathered, yes, then I shall describe the path you must take. Enter the cavern beyond, and follow the wall down and down and down. Once at the bottom, find a passage to the northwest, continue west, west, and west. The way is not simple, keep your friends within shouting distance and do not stray in the deep. Just before the journey's end, you will find the Caliban gap and barrier we placed at its mouth. The obstacle will fade should you raise a hand towards it. We have made it so. Most succinct explanation. We thank you for your guidance. Right, deeper into the depths we go. Deeper we go. Stop. Stop attacking. Green? The rocks and coral bunch up the cavern wall like a staircase of sorts, but be careful, you wouldn't want to slip from up here. It's fine, you'll live with 1 HP as long as you're not in combat. Let me just... Alright. Our guide bade us travel to the cavern floor and thence to the west. Yet to it seem these twisting tunnels defy such simple instruction, rather than rely on direction alone, I suggest we scout with care and relay the path ahead to those who come behind. I should try to get all the uh, Aether Currents for the map in terms of the non-quest ones, the map location ones, but the barrier was in the way so I couldn't get past it and get the one Aether current, or the couple Aether currents, yeah, two, that were beyond the barrier. So now I get to complete it! Hooray! Um, was there any blue quests? No, there isn't. Ah, Ifu, you have the choice of two routes from here. You can either take the long way to the south along the rocks or skip along this coral branch as Alize has done. I, for one, shall be following my sister's example. <clears throat> Gulp. There was another way? To the south? Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, now I'm gonna just take this way. Thankfully, there is a invisible wall to prevent you from just following prematurely. Head this way. And now we're at the gorge! There you are, come on, I think I found the tunnel we're looking for. Okay, thank you, invisible wall. I would have fallen to my death there. Yep, there it is. That's what was blocking me. And thus, I couldn't explore that part of the map. It was all blocked off. Here, this must be the barrier that Ando spoke of. Well, that was a rather more arduous than expected. I feel a sudden rush of gratitude for the smooth roads our ancestors cut through the wilderness. It was a treacherous path indeed. Now I believe one of us needs but a raise a hand to banish the next obstacle. Ifu, I elect you to do the honors. Sure.
Yay. Gone just like that. I suppose we should head in. Like as not, this tunnel will just be as perilous as the road we walk to get here. Let's all stay aware of, aware of our surroundings, shall we? None of these are level 80. So I guess... These are all still like level 79 quests? I guess. I got another lily. Hey, wait a second. You want the last? Oh. Uh. Yeah, I'll get that. I'll get those, uh. off camera. Off recording. Off, etc., etc. Now what? Oh, does something happen to my body? Nope. By the gods. Oh, it's like Rapture from Bioshock, except it's a lot prettier, prettier. Holy crap. Yo, it's like a modern city, what? When the Ondo spoke of a city, I did not think they meant an actual city. We are seeing the same view. Oh, right. What are you seeing? The remnants in the Ondo settlement were solid material structures. But these... Everything here pulses with ether. Tis an enchantment on a monumental scale. Those are very modern looking buildings. Hmm. Did you note the style of the architecture? Tis is it is the same used for the remnants at the cups and the mural painted walls. Look closely, Emmet Selk has not simply reclaimed these ruins, he has layered the semblance of an entire city upon them. Gods, the magnitude of his artifice is staggering, though it pains me to admit we did not fully understand the feats of which an old world Ossian is capable. What do I want? I'll take piety. Damn. It's intimidating, yes, but we have to start somewhere. Why don't we look, uh have a closer look at that tower to the southeast. We might be able to reach it from the edge of the trench. From the edge of the trench, you say. Wait a second, the Macarensis angle? Oh, there's a town here. Ah, that's pretty. Very pretty. Eh? Oh. oh.
Look at the size of those doors. Now I know how pixies must feel. Ifu Momofu recognized. Welcome to the city of Amarat. Will you be riding the lift? What? Did the building just welcome you? Ahab, it is not so passing strange. Did Emmet Salk not invite Ifu to visit his abode? Tis plain thy coming was expected. And where will this lift be taking us? The lift services every level of Akora Heights, but is presently configured to convey passengers directly to the ground floor. Well, there you have it. In the absence of a few some hundred yalms of rope, we have little choice to but to accept the offer. With emphasis on the we, I'm not about to let you walk into that place alone. Alright, we'll head together. I wish to ride the lift. As you wish, the lift will arrive shortly. Oh, we got an actual elevator? I guess that makes sense. Next stop, ground floor. Facilities include the Bureau of the Administrator, the Bureau of the Architect, and the Capital. Makes sense because the level of technology for this civilization seems on par with real life. Like current day IRL stuff. Maybe a little more advanced. I don't think elevators can actually tell you uh, through their own intelligence where you're going. It's only at this distance you start to realize just how big the buildings truly are. What did that voice call the city? Amarot? Look, over there. Uh huh. Is that a person? Uh, no, my mistake. That's a giant. It doesn't seem to have noticed this yet. Giant or no, a resident of this place may have much and more to tell us. I may say we make the first move. Alpha, no, you can't just... Ugh. Pray excuse my boldness, but might I ask you a few questions? Oh, he's big. Whoa, what? Oh, what adorable costumes. Are you children on an excursion? This district has much to teach you. How odd, that sounded like no language I have ever heard, and yet I've understood every word. Just as he understood us. <clears throat> and which district is this exactly? You must be lost, poor things. You stand in the polylurid district wherein lie the institutions most vital to the management of our star. <laughs> Sacred as the best <laughs> gesture of what is going on right now. Can you tell me who rules this city? Who rules? What a curious question. May have you referred to our supervising body, the Convocation of Fourteen? Emmet Selk isn't the leader here. Emmet Selk is a member of the Convocation. Were you hoping to witness its deeds firsthand? Mm hmm. Hardly surprising, I suppose. The whole world holds its breath. 
As the final days draw near and our brightest minds race to implement their plans. Thus, you must understand that gaining an audience at this time will be next to impossible. You should hurry home now before your families begin to worry. You need me to walk you back? No, thank you. We will be fine. Very well. Take care, little ones. Oh? What was that all about? In my eyes, these people appear as arcane entities. I suspect Emmet Selk wove them from ether, much as he has reconstructed the entire city. The final days. Such words will befit the oblivion described to us by our Ossian foe. A catastrophe of unprecedented scale which did set in motion the summoning of Zodiac, and thence Eidolon herself. But that happened centuries and centuries ago, didn't it? That man spoke as if they were rushing to avert a disaster here and now. Unless for these people, the distant past is the here and now. I believe thou hast the right of it, Master Alphanode. This ethereal Amaroth and its residents appear to be phantoms of a different age. Emmet Salk hath resurrected a memory a moment in time before the star hut was sundered. But we find ourselves in a long destroyed city inhabited by the long departed. An unusual situation to be sure, but at least we're able to parlay with these ancients. In fact, I seem downright eager to chat. I say we use this to our advantage, split up, strike up some conversations, and see if we can't learn the location of our quarry. And while we're at it, it wouldn't hurt to wheedle out a few more details regarding this convocation of 14 and their impending disaster. To mingling then, let's meet back here when our jaws start gaking. I really like this city's song. Nice. It's like a little somber and just a little relaxing at the same time. I just realized something. Wait, if Emma Suck is part of the convocation of 14 and there's 14 of them, 14 Ossians part of the convocation. Plus there's 14 stars that's been split. So does that mean each Ossian that's remaining is a fraction of Zodiac? Are they Zodiac? Like if they all combine together? That's interesting. It's an interesting thought. Sort of like pieced it together slowly there. Good gracious child, where is your family? You should not be alone at the time like this. Run along home now, quickly now. Have you not heard, though yet confined to the lands across the sea, a ter terrible phenomenon afflicts our star? They are calling it the final days. Tis said it starts suddenly, a cacophonous keening from beneath the earth. The sound deserts all living things with an earshot and wrests from us control of our creation magics. Once that happens, all is lost. Fear, pain, despair, every dread impulse is siphoned from our minds and given substance. An eternal fall of fiery rain, 
and incessant spawning of nightmarish beasts. None can point to the source of the phenomenon, tis as if the star itself has fallen ill. As if a force inimical, inimical to life now festers and spreads. It is only a matter of time until Amara too resounds to that discordant squall. You should stay with your loved ones, child. Stay with them. Huh. Let's go this way first. Were there 14 Ossians? I don't remember how many there were. Because I know there was a cutscene either at the end of Heaven's Ward or the end of Realm Born where they all gathered together. I don't remember how many there were though. 14 might be the answer. Mm, Twould seem the hall is host to a most precocious visitor this day, and what, pray tell, shall be the subject of our discussion, young one. Ah, the convocation and their handling of the coming peril. It is only natural that you should be have uh, that you should have questions. Now we begin with the members themselves. As all know, the fourteen are the most wisest and most puissant among us. They are the stewards of order responsible for decisions which keep this star turning season after season. No, no, that wouldn't make any sense because at this time, the 14 Ossians that are part of the council are already 14. They weren't split before this star was split into 14. I guess, yeah, Zor Zordiac is like its own entity. Huh. Be it the Speaker, La Habrea, or the Emissary, Elibis, each seat is occupied by an elected sage of surpassing intellect. Logrif, Mitron, and Itselk, their individual titles, have, as a gesture of respect and a matter of tradition, become synonymous with their incumbents. Thus, it is with great incredulity that I greet this recent rumor that a seat in the Convocation is soon to be left vacant. If proven true, to be an unprecedented development and testament to the immense pressure under which our saviors are toiling, in any event, I for one am confident they shall deliver our star unto salvation. So they just like failed real hard. 14 brilliant minds. And the final days came to pass and completely destroyed all of civilization, I guess. Come to think of it... Weren't there 14... Organization 13 members? Or was it 13? Because the organization number is 13. Or is it 14? I don't... I haven't... I haven't really played Kingdom Hearts. The only Kingdom Hearts I've played all the way through is Chain of Memories, and I know that's just one in a nutshell. So, yeah, 2, 2.9, uh, 0.9, all those, 3, I haven't played at all. I actually don't know much of the story. All I know, there was like a bunch of black hooded members. An audience with Emmett Selk, I'm, I'm afraid you have the wrong offense, little one. And besides, he will be far too busy to field the questions of curious children. Surely you have been told of the Lumen Catastrophe? Every resource available to the Convocation must be spent upon ensuring our world survives. They have yet to make an official announcement, but it is said the 14 are moving toward with a plan of scarce credible proportions. One which promises to grant will to the very store itself. They will invoke our mightiest spells of creation to birth an entity of all-encompassing magnificence. Oh, it's Zodiac. And then they will rewrite the laws of existence. What? Tis a huge undertaking, and it must be completed ere to the corruption spreads this far. Thus I say to you again, do not hold out hope for an audience. So they did it. They, they create... So, no. 
It, wait. I guess that is correct. They did sort of worship something that didn't exist into existing, which is Zodiac. But Hydaelyn just suplexed <laughs> suplex Zodiac in the solar plexus and lost. But why would you split? It doesn't make any sense. There's like a huge hole there. Why would Hydaelyn want to split the worlds? Unless Zodiac just betrayed everyone and he's the one who brought the final days in I don't see another way of this going out if I was not certain before then I am now the people of this city believe they face the end of the world I cannot imagine what purpose compelled Emmett South to recreate this ancient Amrot and yet I fancy I hear his words us echoing throughout this ocean trench. He would have his story known. Wait, it's not. What? I'm so confused. I'm gonna get skill speed. We can compare notes once the others return. Hopefully, then our next move will become clear. Is that a quest that just showed up in the mini map? The team, our conversations were much alike. A looming disaster, creation magics running rampant, and this convocation's efforts to bring salvation out of chaos. I suppose there was talk of little else in time when these events came to pass. Ah, Orianji, if I may, what are your thoughts on the ancients' art of creation? A fascinating discipline indeed. Ought the mind can conceive may be rendered in reality. All that is required is a clear concept upon which to focus one's will. It is not dissimilar to the primal rites taught by the Ossians, wherein ritual ceremony breatheth life into figments of myth and legend. I see we arrived at the same conclusion then. The people who lived in the age before the Sundering were blessed with vast reserves of mana. No matter how draining these creation magics must be, it seems they paid the cost with not more than a fraction of the aether which coursed through their own bodies. If we were to attempt the same thing, such spells would soon deplete our energies and then seek to draw the balance from elsewhere, from a horde of crystals mayhap, or from the very land itself. Thus, when this art of creation was placed into our hands, it became, in fact, a means for destruction. An interesting matter which no doubt bears further study, but despite all these revelations, I worry we are no closer into fighting Emmett Selk. Has anyone learned aught which might lead us to his location? Not directly, mayhap, but from what I've heard, it seems the Convocation of 14 is sequestered in the nearby capital building. When we went to see for ourselves, the attendant wouldn't let us through without a writ of permission. So we tried our luck at the bureau of uh, so we tried our luck at the bureau of the administrator, where we thought these permissions might be issued. But the clerk there said he couldn't help us since our names didn't appear at the registry, and that was where we gave up. I wonder though, Ifu, could you be eligible for one of these writs? The voice of the lift seemed to know who you were. It might be that your name is registered at the bureaus as well. Worth a look, I'd say. Meanwhile, I'll head back to the capital and search for a less official point of entry, just in case. Pray allow me to accompany thee on thy reconnaissance. An arcane perspective may prove needful. <laughs> uh, I think I'd like to speak with uh, more of these ancients. Maybe they know something that could help cure Ifu's condition. Would you mind coming with me? Of course I don't mind. Just lead the way.
Then Ishtola and I will busy ourselves with further exploration. There is surely more intelligence to be had. And so we part ways once more. This time, however, let us reconvene in the front of the capital. Hmm. I'm on my own, I guess. With my chocobo and slime puddle. Yeah, there is a blue quest right there. Oh, oh shit, there's three? Uh... Let's grab these later. Why would there be three? Oh. Yeah, actually that would make sense. I'm guessing one main quest would give me one Aetherite and these three would give me the other three. I actually thought I had a lot more Aetheric currents in the Tempest, but I guess I'm just lacking the quests. Lacking mainly the quests. Oh, that was spooky, he just appeared. Uh, yeah, let's grab the... Aetherite Crystal. Bizarre is writ. Yeah, second assist. Your full name, please. Ifu Momofu. Please wait near the counter while I confirm your details. Okay. Ifu Momofu, your application is ready for collection. Seriously? As your residency was approved by Emisek himself, further forms of identification will not be required. Here are your application to documents. Submit them at the Bureau of the Secretariat, Secretariat and the clerk will issue you with your visitor's writ for the capital. That easy, huh? Holy, oh my god, okay. Really nice song. I can just imagine sitting down on a couch, grabbing my tablet and a warm cup of coffee. That's an ant. That's I, that can attack me. And uh, listening to some. Of this city's music and just reading manga. There's an Aether current. Nope. Not even close. It's probably like all the way up here. Yeah, it's probably up here. It's probably just the same one that keeps pinging. I actually wonder if that's the 
largest material I can get. Probably not. There's probably one more level somewhere. Next, please. There you go. Visiting the capital, are we? Please take a seat. Your name will be called once your application has been processed. Oh, there's another person here. Huh. Eh. Eh. Why are they all wearing hoodies, though? That's not good. Is it time? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, may I? What? How the fuck? You, I think, are from a time beyond ours. Have you followed in the wake of Emmet Selk? What? Nay, there is no calm for alarm. I am simply a shade, here and not here. What the fuck? I know only that my name is Hythlodius. Hydalin? What? Wait. I'm only saying that because it looks similar to Hydalin's name. Hythlodius. And this. And that this city is a recreation of phantom moment plucked from the well of history. Wait, who are you? These others seem unaware of their pale existence, but I wonder if Emmett Selk's mind was distracted when it came to my reconstitution. A stray thought would have been enough. Hythalideus will realize the truth, for example. We were close friends once, you see. What? Yet, in spite of my perception, I play the same role as all the rest. A bit part meant to bring color and noise to this well-crafted stage. Too much scrutiny and we shall burst like the fragile bubbles we are. Thus I tell you again. My presence is not to concern you. I wish only to share your company whilst we wait. Oh. If you come this far, then you know of the catastrophe which awaits us on our morrow. Yep. The final days. What began as isolated incidents soon swelled into a world-spanning threat. The convocation of 14, well, it was 13 at the time. What? Square Enix! <laughs> what are you doing? We got a crossover of Kingdom Hearts here! Well, it was 13 at the time, endeavored to create a will for a star. They would repair the fundamental laws of order and halt the spread of destruction. A creation on such a scale required an immense source of power. Of those who have still lived, nearly half offered up their lives in the name of salvation. Oh. And from their sacrifice, Zodiac was born. Just as we had hoped, he reached forth and halted the march of oblivion. Yet, oh how the star had suffered. So many species lost. The land was blighted, the waters poisoned, and even the wind had ceased to blow. 
Once more did our people give of themselves to Zodiark. Another half of our race sacrificed to cleanse the world, to ensure that trees and grasses and myriad tiny lives would sprout and grow and flourish. What? The cycle of life had begun anew, and we considered, reconsidered the means by which we might protect it. The Convocation decided thus. We would nurture our world until it was bursting with vitality. Then, when the time was right, we would offer some portion of its living energy to Zodiac. In return, he would restore to those brethren whose souls had fed his strength. And together we would resume our role as stewards. There were, however, those who disagreed with this plan. They argued that enough had been sacrificed to Zodiac, that this new world should belong to the lives newly born. These dissidents surrendered their lives and energies in the creation of Hydaelyn, an incarnation of their opposing belief. And for the first time in history, our people stood divided. You know you then how this conflict ended. Oh, that's interesting. So... So the world was basically made by Ossians. But the party who want... The parties who want to live as gods chose Zodiac, whereas the people who wanted the future like generations to, to live in peace chose Hydaelyn. Oh. Hmm, I thought you might. So was he one of the supporters for Hydaelyn or Zodiac? Oh, well yeah, we sort of knew that one. Emmet Silk has ever been a champion for the will of Zodiac. The original plan may have been set back by a millennia, but he will not have not he will have not abandoned his course. You'll pay the price for our return by whatever means is necessary. And although he may carry himself with a certain glib ease, Emmet Selk is not a man to burden bear his burdens lightly. In fact, I imagine they have only grown heavier with every passing century. Is truly a terrible weight he has been chosen to carry. Oh, uh, that's me. Wait, I want to talk to you a little more though. It seems your turn has come. Pray do not let me keep you. But I want to talk a little bit more. You seem like a good guy. Like, that's the most information I've ever got from an NPC before. Oh shit, he even knows that? Ah, there was one last thing. You walk with another at your side, yes? Oh shit, you can see him? Nay, I see no definite form, just the faintest suggestion of a second soul. I doubt it visible to anyone but me. Otherwise, I assume only you can see and hear this ethereal companion. Yup. Your connection is hardly a coincidence. In our time, the two of you were one. The color of your souls tells the tale. Oh. 
A hue that's distinctive cannot be mistaken no matter how thin the soul is spread. Ah, this is just the kind of fate I might expect for one such as he. Surely Emmett Selk has recognized the hint of him in you. Has he? Uh, yeah, I'll be right there. I don't remember if he has. Fare you well, my new old friend. May you find what it is you seek. It's actually kind of sad. But a huge mystery too! Why was he... What's the word? Why was he sentient? Why was he the only one sentient? Your visitor's writ as requested. When you wish to gain admittance to this capital, simply present the document to the attendant within. I actually... I wonder if the reason why Emmett designed everyone here to only have hoods and not really have recognizable faces is that he just can't remember them from a thousand years ago. That's probably the reasoning why the models look very similar to each other. Which is actually really sad too, at the same time. Because that just means he's forgotten. I mean, I can't even remember what I did 20 years ago. Like... Which is like a really scary feeling. Of being like, I don't really recognize what you look like, or what someone looked like 10, 20, 30 years ago, when you think of someone's name. But that's just how we are, I guess. Memories fade, little by little. Finally, you were gone so long, I was on the verge of mounting a new rescue party. <laughs> How fared you in your bureaucratic ventures? Got it. Ah, my instincts were correct. And a good thing too, Urianji and I weighed our chances of breaking into the capital, and an official entrance is by far the more attractive option. Capital boasteth a, not a single army a sentry. It would seem that in their time they did not deem it needful to post guards. The windows and doors, however, appear heavily warded. Though mightily did we strive with strength mundane and magical, we failed to budge them even a fraction of one elm. Mayhap twas simply the case that Emmett Selk's recreation did not extend to their usual function. We didn't try everything, of course. But we thought it'd be best to conserve our time and energy for more pressing matters. Speaking of which, Reen and I tried to ask about a cure for you. The problem is, these ancients didn't exist beyond Amaroth's today. They'll happily tell their own tales, but whenever we attempted to explain their situation, the conversation quickly became muddled. What of you, Ifu? Was aught worthy of interest said during your efforts to obtain a writ? Yeah, there was this one guy that was, you know, sentient and he talked to me and his name was Halathabd of Davis. A great sacrifice of life in exchange for their brethren's resurrection. And you say all ASEAN scheming has been leading to this? All this time, if they still mean to enact this plan, then things won't end with the rejoining. Aye, I thought we knew their intentions in full. Restore the world to its former glory, and in turn empower Zodiac to reclaim his throne as the will of the star. Yet, that was merely a step along the way. I hesitate to put into words, but we have to assume that following their final rejoining, the Asians mean to draw on the lives of the source to make their sacrifice to Zodiac. 
That does seem like the most likely scenario. Mayhap those who ally with the Ossians would be spared the fate. But what value is there in surviving when all our history, all our struggles will be erased? Can it conscience such an act? Of course not. That's to say, not of what Emmett Selk's plans for the Exarch's power. Do we stand by and let him threaten our future as well as our past? We need to find him, Mifu, and when we do, make your mark. Change the course of history in a way that's felt by those who came before and those who came after, by everyone you have ever met. Change things so that even my other self dying somewhere in the future calamity will smile and say, I knew you would win. Did you just put up your own death flag? And fighting Emmett Sulk is the only way? He created an entire city. It'll take everything we have to defeat him if we even can. And if you push that hard in your current state, the light will break free. The decision to press on lies with you, just as it lies with each and every one of us. I mean, I'm going. I'm just curious on what the ba boss battle will be like. I mean, I'll be lying if I said I didn't know what it looks like. I've seen YouTube videos, I've seen the spoiler thumbnails and stuff. I feel like I know what the boss is, but I'm just not saying it because I'm not sure. I got a present? You remember that talk we had atop the tower of Mod Sauk? I'm still the same mind as now as I was then. I won't I don't abandon you and you don't abandon me. And together we can make a difference in this fight. There's always hope if we look for it. I saw it again and again as you tore through, tore those veils of light from the sky. If we keep taking the next step forward, there's a chance we'll find a way to save you. So no matter how long it takes, or how much it hurts, you can count on me to keep on walking. Am I talking to everyone? Bothery spoke of the disaster we would bring upon our own heads. The ceaseless conflict, imagine how he would never, how he would sneer to see what's become of the first, not to mention your perilous predicament. And yet, who can deny the fire your deeds have ignited in the people's hearts? To achieve what my logic and ideals could never could, uniting disparate peoples under the banners of hope and common purpose. Without you, that giant Talos would never have raised his head. I have borne witness to many such miracles at your side, and would do so again, but this is but another obstacle on the road. So come, let us travel it. Drag me through whatever wonder and danger as you are wont to do, and I shall endeavor not to slow you down. I am gonna talk to everyone. As well thou knowest, if we are to usher Emmet unto his rest, we must needs bind his Ossian soul, then shatter it with overwhelming force. The former task requireth us our sight, and such I have prepared upon the Exarch's asking no less, though twas ever mine intent to provide said boon. The future whence our noble friend doth hail is a world fallen to Ossian artifice, and he would not see such grim history repeated. In a sense, Emmet's destruction will be the culmination of the Exarch's efforts, a reward for all he hath endured these many years. Yet, even as thou stridest into the jaws of peril, forget not but that fondest wish, and that of many others besides, is to see thee survive unto the morrow. Tis in pursuit of that happiest outcomes that I pledge my pledge to remain at thy side. Our time in the first has been a never-ending succession of trials as arduous as our path in the source ever was, yet through all our journeys together, through that deep and foreboding wood, you have t helped me to stray true to my convictions. Thus I would return the favor, do as your heart decrees, 
without hesitation or regret. And that is all I will say on the matter. Well, this has put everyone in a solemn mood, hasn't it? Honestly, we're not even sure this will be the end of it. But I suppose we should speak our minds when we have the opportunity. You taught me that much in Almerang. So forgive me this moment of sentiment, Ifu. By dragging me into this sorry mess, you've given me the chance to think and act as I should have. Marine's sake, too. Words cannot express how much this has changed my life, nor or how grateful I am for your support. So I shall express my gratitude through action instead. No matter where you decide to go, I will be there guarding your back. Here we go. Green, what's up? When the affiliate entrusted me with her power, she warned me that no matter how strong you become, you can still fall victim to despair. You can still f feel powerless. And she was right. After you collapsed on Mount Gulg, my hands wouldn't stop shaking. If I made a mistake, if I failed to bind the light within you, I was terrified you would die. Even now, you could be moments from turning, and I wouldn't know how to save you. You, Thancred, the others, you've all been there when I needed help, and Philia surrendered her life to me, her legacy. I should be ready to do the same for you, and I want to, I do, but I just... I'm not good enough. She told me to follow your example, and I've tried, I've really tried. Oh. Yeah, then you shouldn't hang your head. You've tried. That's all I can ask for. Shouldn't? Yeah, as long as you tried. Oh my god! Is this a harsh mod clone? Oh, harsh! <laughs> oh, that hurts. Oh, my heart. Fate can be cruel, but a smile better suits a hero. Wow. They're quoting him in the hit this game, too? That's so good. Oh, I'm tearing up, too. Oh, I miss him. I'm not sure I... Actually, never mind. I think I'll understand better if I try it for myself. No, nothing will come of brooding and self-pity. I've made my decision. I'm going with you. Wow! Wow! I did not expect that quote to come out. A smile better fits a hero. Oh, my heart. It hurts. Oh man, I miss him so much! He was such a nice guy! Fuck! Man... Oh, I miss him. I miss him so much! He was such a good character. Is this gonna open up a duty? Welcome to the capital. All visitors must present an official writ of permission before admittance will be granted. Your documents appear to be in order. You may proceed into the capital, but any guests you may choose to bring with you must remain in your vicinity at all times. And it disappears. Wait, is this just like a meeting or something? This really is unacceptable. I gave you very specific instructions. Damn it, Selk. My invitation was for an abomination, ripe with the power to bring about the world's annihilation. 
not this half-broken thing. Whatever am I to do with you? And I see you insist on keeping the same familiar company. Are you so lost without them? It is not he who is lost without the familiar. Not content with remaking an entire city, you aim to fill it with the reconstituted souls of the dead. I may have gotten a little carried away <laughs> in my attention to detail. Added a few unnecessary flourishes. Well, there's no point trying to hide it. Yes. Once the rejoining of worlds is complete, Zodiac will regain his full strength and shatter his prison. Then we shall offer up the source's remaining inhabitants in sacrifice, that we might resurrect our brethren who died to bring Zodiac into existence. But what was it that you came here to do exactly? Yeah, we came for the Exarch. Well, you can't have him. What? The wisdom that man guards may open up new worlds of possibilities. Which is great! He has unlocked the secrets of travel across the rift, and through time as well, it would seem. Quite an accomplishment for one of his incomplete nature. I must explore the limits of his capabilities, and harness that power for the Arda. Even now, after everything, you refuse to see reason. You think it unfair that you are subject to suffering? That your lives will be sacrificed for the ancients? Uh, yes. Actually, yes. Look at me. I have lived a thousand, thousand of your lives. I have broken bread with you. Fought with you, grown ill, grown old, sired children, and yes, welcomed death's sweet embrace. For eons have I measured your worth and found you wanting. Too weak and feeble-minded to serve as stewards of any star. Your recent spats with Vorthri and his Sin Eaters taught you nothing? Have you not learned that your ignorance and frailty beget only endless misery? How long do you mean to perpetuate this farce? How much more must I endure your bumbling interference? Let us imagine that the laws of reality are again undone and the world faces true annihilation. Do you honestly believe that half your number would sacrifice themselves to save the other? Of course they wouldn't! And if you had witnessed history unfold as I had, you would reach the same conclusion. You cannot be entrusted with our legacy. I will bring back our brethren, our friends, our loved ones. The world belongs to us and us alone. Emmet Selk! We understand. 
truly. But it makes no difference. The ones you love are in the past. While ours are here in the present. One day, we too will be ashes and dust. But not today. Our time is not yet finished. We share your conviction. And that is why we will not abandon our course. You think us the same? You think your tattered soul of equal worth to those I lost? Then come. Earn your place. Prove yourselves worthy to inherit this star. I shall wait within, but do not spend too much time on your preparations. There's no telling how much longer the guest of honor will last. here and oh god Kurt made scenario quest Shadowbringers all right I wonder where I am for those qu these quests now but anyways thank you for watching and next time we will find out what happens in that battle do we actually go through emerald I'm so curious all right guys have a good one thank you for watching I'll see you guys next time Oh, I'm excited!